Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. And here is my follow-up video about Android 13 Beta 3 to show you more features I missed in my previous video. On top of this, Google released Beta 3.1. It's a minor update, but I noticed some performance improvements that I'm going to talk about in this video as well. But before starting, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos. And now, let's jump in. I will start with the functional changes and the first one is the predictive back gesture. If you remember in one of my videos about Android 13, I showed you this demonstration video showing how the feature works. When you swipe from the edge of the screen, the app will become smaller and the home screen appears in the background. And once you release your finger, it should take you back to the home screen like this. Actually in Android 13 Beta 3, Google added a new toggle under developer options called the predictive back animations. After activating this toggle, nothing changed for me, but after using the phone for a while, I found only one app that supports the feature, and this app is Keep Notes. If you take a look here, when I swipe from the edge of the screen, the app will become smaller, exactly the same way shown in the video, but the home screen doesn't appear in the background, so it seems like the feature is incomplete. And once I release my finger, it takes me back to the home screen. But unfortunately, after activating this, now I'm not able to go back to the previous page. Every time I swipe from the edge, it takes me to the home screen instead, and I have to use the uh, on-screen buttons. I'm not sure yet how this feature will work in the future, but this is what we've got so far. Next, the battery widget. And I got a couple of screenshots for new features I didn't mention in my previous video. And the first one is the appearance of the battery percentage for some Bluetooth accessories in the widget. I didn't experience this myself, but this is one of the screenshots I took from a friend, and this is the battery percentage for his smartwatch. The second change is the new counter that appears next to the connected Bluetooth devices, so it depends on how many devices you have connected, this number will change. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Now let's move on to the visual changes. And the first one is a new Bluetooth icon that appears in the share sheet. On the right, I have beta 2. And as you see, the Bluetooth icon looks different. The second change is in the media controls pagination dots. If you take a look closely, you will see here in beta 3, they have the white color like the stable version, but in beta 2 they used to have a blue color so you barely see them on the screen, but now this bug is fixed. Change number 3 is a new animation in the recent apps screen. Look what happens when I tap on the select button in beta 2, the app will move forward as expected, but now in beta 3 it will take a different angle, it will slide slightly towards the top, giving you a better effect compared to the previous version. Change number four is under settings. Now when you go to apps and then tap on any of the apps and go to the permissions, if you try to deny the permission for the photos and videos, you will see this new floating card says access to music and audio files also won't be allowed. I did the same steps on beta 2 and this is the card I got. So as you see here, it looks totally different now. Change number five is a new animation you get when you tap on the system wide search while in dark theme. So if you take a look here in beta 2, the animation is slightly sluggish and it doesn't look great. And it seems like a different app is opening to start the search. But now in Android 13 beta 3, as you see the animation or this ripple effect that happens in the search bar looks better. And also when you go back, it doesn't quit as if it's a different app like in beta 2. 
Now let's talk specifically about Android 13 Beta 3.1. Today Google pushed a small update to Pixel devices. Here on my 6 Pro it was 6.31 megabytes and the build number is TPB3.2205131017.b1. I didn't notice any functional or visual changes in this build, but the only thing I noticed is the big jump in the performance in everything I do. Apps open faster and everything feels smoother than before and also the camera is much faster when you open it so let me show you this when you tap on it it opens instantly and this is something uh, new to android 13 and i took here also a screen recording while switching between lenses it feels much better as well so let me start from here as you see here when switching between 0.7x up to 20x everything is much smoother so let me show you this again so you barely feel the lag between the lenses when you do this. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I spotted after using Beta 3 for a while. So please let me know in the comments if you spotted even more features. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.